LA Rush on PSP is a technical marvel, and I consider it a hidden gem. Still, some call the game shallow. They say that the game is an incredible port of the PS2 game, problem is, the PS2 game is not that good, so even though the port is marvelous, the game is not any better than on PS2. But is it? I say no, especially on PSP. What makes the game lose so much is the handling, which is weird. But, in spite what other people say, you get used to it. The biggest downside of the game though is the fact that you can't customize your cars. The story is cheesy and makes you collect cars across the story, you don't hold onto one car, which you tune, but you constantly switch cars and the Pimp My Ride shop does the customization for you. And it's sad to watch that you can't customize your own car. You can switch cars when free roaming, the cars you have collected, but you can't customize them. The graphics have been described by many as being ugly, but for me, they look okay. I mean, for PSP. I like how full the map is, though I don't like that traffic cars repeat. Some people say that the map is too full and they constantly bump into stuff. Sure, you do bump into a lot of stuff, but it's still fun. There are races in the game, time trials, cruise races and also chases when you steal a car and when you get into a chase, it's funny how black cars chase after you and they give all they've got to ram into you. Those chases can get pretty fun. You also get a stunt arena and multiplayer. Content wise the game has a lot to offer even though it doesn't offer car tuning. The game has 50 cars and another amazing detail is that each car handles differently. Sure the handling is weird at first but it's still nice that each car handles in a unique way. Also each car sounds different. For example you can hear the turbo in a Mitsubishi Lancer. and the roar in a Dodge Challenger. All in all, I consider the game a hidden gem. It's amazing that you have free roam, big maps, a nice damage model, the handling is weird and it sucks, and it also sucks that you don't have customization, which I consider the biggest downside of the game. Still, the game is pretty good. Overall, I recommend you the game. It will surprise you for sure.